Hello again and welcome back to Get Even, this time for part 4. And it seems that we have another trip awaiting us, another memory to jump into, but before we do that we should probably find out exactly what we are getting ourselves into. So, much like last time, littered around this room are documents, photos, so... I don't know, let's start with these ones on the left and, and see, you know, what we're going back to, shall we? So, uh, Metropolitan Police questionings it looks like, okay. Jasper Prado's death remains unexplained. Chadwick is certain it was a drug-related crime. I've questioned both Jared Porter and Ethan Hamilton. Chadwick talked to John Linden and Albert Hall, but it doesn't seem we're making any progress. More names popped up in Prado's phone record, but the guy was a dealer, and it looks like almost all of his friends were just clients. And that's from, uh, that's from Bart Fair, from the police, I guess. Okay, over here, an incident report. Um, alright, let's see. Uh, road traffic collision. Shane Carruth, right, okay, I don't know if this is related to ADS in any way, shape or form, maybe it's not, maybe it's completely independent, maybe this is just another contract I, uh, I performed, who knows. But let's see, the incident, road traffic collision, there you go. On Monday the 20th of June at 4.26am, the Bittle Police received a call reporting a car accident in the area near the Pike Hill turning on Route 10. Upon arrival, we located one vehicle in the nearby woods. Uh, let's see, the car hit the tree and was burning when we arrived at the scene, so we used an extinguisher and quickly managed to put the fire out. Preliminary investigation revealed that the accident was most likely caused by excessive speeding. Uh, there were no passengers inside, and further investigation revealed a blood trace in the woods, but no body was found in the area nearby. The driver may still be alive, his current status remains unknown. Okay, a little bit of a mystery there then. Possibly, unless it's, you know, <laughs> all cleared up in the remaining documents. Another incident report, okay. This one, uh, possible homicide in an abandoned warehouse, okay. Bart Fair, yeah, Officer Bart Fair. So, let's see, Jacob Singer this time. On the 20th June, just before 2pm, we received a call reporting the discovery of a man's body in the empty warehouse near Route 10. Officers sent to the scene confirmed one victim, whose death was caused by a gunshot wound to the head. There were no documents on the body when found. Uh, forensics would be required to provide a positive ID. The autopsy is scheduled for Friday. Uh, the officers recovered shell casings on the scene, matching one weapon, a pistol with a silencer, oh shit, <laughs> also found on the scene, lying approx 10 feet from the victim's body. The weapon was identified as a self-loading pistol produced by, oh, here we go, ADS, there is a connection. Hmm. I wonder if that's got anything to do with me. I guess so. I mean, I'm involved in some way, shape or form, aren't I? So, there you go. Uh, okay. Anything on the sill over here? No, nothing on the windowsill. What have we got? A body, body found in a warehouse, alright. Uh, the body of a 40-year-old man was found in an abandoned warehouse near Route 10 on Monday. Detective Chief Inspector Edwin Hughes said, It appears that the victim was shot from close range, but we don't yet know how long the body was there before we found it. The autopsy is scheduled on Friday, but it's quite possible that we have a murder case on our hands. Uh, no specific details about the victim's identity have been released quite yet. Okay, and... Just so I can get my voice back, we've got an audio recording, it seems. Listen, I think someone's been murdered here in the warehouse. You should send someone. It, I'm half a mile down the road from the Pike Hill turning off Park Street. I was out on a run, and I stopped here for a minute. I'm looking at him right now. He's lying face down. No, he's definitely dead. There's a lot of blood. Yeah, it's Jacob. Jacob Singer. Look, can you please just send someone? Thanks. Right, a recording of him actually reporting the incident. Fair enough, fair enough, okay. Uh, looks like we've got uh, a few more things before we have a look at this photo. I think this is our link back to the memory. Um, just before that, I did pass by, like, a, a case? Right. Uh, a police investigation crime case, I guess, a, a pick case. Uh, but it seems that this isn't evidence or anything, I can't interact with it, it's just sort of there. Kind of bizarrely. Uh, right. Nothing else on the floor I'm missing? Okay, let's have a look at... What's that? Detective Bart Fair, apparently. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't really know why. I, well, maybe this is another link back to Perfect Dark in a way, and Goldeneye. Because this guy's face reminds me of the old Goldeneye models, when they actually used real people's faces and they sort of stretched them over the polygons. And it looks like we've got Detective Bart Fair again. Seven police, yeah. Uh, a 1994 criminology graduate, uh, began working for the Seven Police Department in 1995 and got a Police Bravery Award in 2009. There you go. Uh, seems like a pretty good detective. 
And I guess, is this about Bart? Let's see, what have we got here? Oh, I see. Oh, the hom right, the homicide. Uh, Fair and Chadwick were assigned to the case. And the ID was PHC 2006, apparently. I don't know if the others are really that important, but there you go. All right. Oh, and this this is Chadwick. This is, what was his name? Hector Chadwick. There you go. <laughs> Again, looks like a high-res GoldenEye model. And this. Something about Chadwick, I, I assume. Let's see. A 1996 criminology graduate, uh, Pitchreft University, began working for the East Barbon Police in 1997, joined Seven Police Department in 1999, and in 2002 promoted to his current position of detective. There you go. No real high awards or anything, though. Well, there you go. They seem pretty competent. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything left to do but inspect this photo and, and go back in time. Go back in my own mind. Here we go. So you do remember this place. Interesting. Please, just tell me why this is important. An unidentified man died at a nearby abandoned warehouse not long before you tried to save the girl. He was shot at point-blank range. And we're going back to that warehouse? That's correct, yes. The police wrote the whole thing off as a drug deal gone wrong. But that's not what you believe. I believe everything in life is connected, Mr. Black. The only question is how. Let's find out, shall we? Yes, let's. Especially if it involves the girl, Grace. Everything's going to lead back to Grace and that explosion, I assume. Alright? Okay, so here we are. Right, so let, let's have a look. What have we got? Got the silenced pistol, that makes sense. We, we read about a silenced pistol. No corner gun, though, or, or no um, no other pistol either. This is it, just the 36 rounds we got in the chamber. Fair enough. Okay. As far as the phone goes, that always comes with us. A new text, okay, let's have a look. Black, where are you? You've promised to help me. 2015, at 3 p.m. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's very, very clever, this game. Okay. Ooh. Jesus, man. Get your hands off. There's money for any of this. Shut up. Move. That's me, isn't it? Sounded like me, certainly. Right. Uh, okay. Are we going to go up that way? This way? Down here? Yeah. All right. Okay, saw this in the... Wait. Saw wait. this in the... I know this place. This is where the explosion happened. It is, I isn't it? Is. Your mind is preoccupied with the explosion, Mr. Black. The Pandora can only process what your brain offers. Oh. Concentrate only on the memory at hand. I am trying. <laughs> Sorry. Try harder. <laughs> uh, through here, then? No worries, Chief. Glad to be aboard. All right. Not a hair on her head. Trust me. You brought me here. Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Red? Hey, Red! What the hell is this? None of this makes any sense! You oh. are here because you have formed a mental link between this man. It's your fault. And the Hang on. What? Hey, 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 hey! What's going on? Focus. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's your fault, it's your fault. It's your... I, I really can't get this out of my head, can I? This is unbelievable. This is kind of crazy. This way? Okay. Oh, hang on. No, we... That's it. The Pandora unit is offering you a pathway deeper into your memory. Oh, dear. This. Focus and proceed. I'm getting an Inception vibe here. I... Yeah, let's go even deeper. PHC 2006. Oh, that was... The... Right, that was the case file, wasn't it? For the, uh, the homicide. <laughs> I think the reading's paying off a little bit. Uh, okay. Remember, Mr. Black, human memory is unreliable at the best of times. Yeah. I need you to work with my technology, not against it. Fair enough. Take in your surroundings and get as much information as you can. Okay. I did see a green dot um, a moment ago. Looks like we got to go through... Yeah, we got to go through this vent system to get to the other side of that door, I guess. So, through we go. No hostiles present, thankfully. I gotta say, I'm I'm really enjoying this game right now. 
I know uh, for a lot of people this is probably quite slow, especially all the constant reading you have to do, especially in the first 10 minutes of this video, but I, I really like it. I don't mind it not being all run and gun. I don't mind the reading. Something here? Also, it's very nice that you can just hold Alt to, to go to this app instead of like pressing F2 and clicking. So let's see. Alright, it doesn't disappear. <laughs> Yeah, that all lines up. Oh, now it disappears. Oh, hello. Mark homicide. No IDs. I will warn you, though, Chief. Fucking stinks in there. Well, then it's a good job I skipped breakfast. Come on. <laughs> okay. Let's take a quick gander. Oh, bloody hell. Wow, that's a lot of bodies. Okay. Right. Uh, I guess, yeah, let's let's just start over here. Who's this? Number three, who's this? I don't know. No, no evidence found? What? What about you? Nothing? Nothing on the database? You. All faceless. All wearing masks, maybe? All carrying guns, though, I think. Come on, no evidence found, no. Did I do that one right? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to move this time. There you go, that's more like it. Unconfirmed. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, look at that. Oh, hello. His entire face. There goes any dental match. There's that case. Shot off his hands too. This is a fingerprint or a bust. Professional job. Shit, this many stiffs have no idea. We can link this to a hundred cases. So, uh, drug deal it is then. What do you reckon? Adam's family or one of my turners lot? <laughs> uh, well, don't worry. Decide later. Get the uniforms to bag it all. I'm getting a little peckish. There's that new calf opened up next to the neck. You fancy it? I guess so. <laughs> all right. Oh, the, oh, hang on. What is this? You are trying to process Whoa. too much, Mr. Black. The Pandora cannot keep up. Concentrate Whoa. only on the man you came here to find. Okay. What was that guy as well? Right. There, Mr. Black, right there. Where? Auto scanner. Identify and consolidate your memory. Who the only one man? who doesn't have a face? Pandora will do the rest. Let's see. All right. Identification confirmed. Ah. Jasper Prado. Status. Deceased. There's me thinking we could sort this out like animals. <laughs> you wanna do it, then at least look me in the fucking eye! Sir, so we have a name then. Jasper Prado. That was what was on the reports. Nope. Oh. oh dear. Things are getting hazy. Oh shit! <laughs> Boy, here's the keys, your driver. Come on, shit. Why have I always got a drive? Rang, son, rang. How do I know this? You don't. Yeah. The Pandora is cross-referencing your memory with any police files, files in the database. All right. This memory is breaking down. You must move on. And I suppose I will after I have a look at <laughs> what the police have noted down right next to all these uh, outlines. Okay. A lot more reading to do, it seems like, from the uh, measure holders and police. Blood test analysis came this morning and the victim's DNA matches the DNA we found on the blast site. Chadwick claims that the same location was previously used by local junkies, so Prado, as a drug addict and a dealer, wasn't necessarily involved in the kidnapping. That's from good old Bart Fair there. Okay. A uh, couple more, I think. Don't think I'm missing anything else. Yeah, let's see. Shooting victim identified. Alright, let's take a look. Last week, we reported on the shocking discovery of a corpse in the abandoned warehouse near Route 10. The body of a 40-year-old man was found lying on the floor of the main hall in the warehouse, the victim having been ruthlessly shot from close range. Uh, according to a source, half a victim's face had been shot off, making him unrecognisable. Police concluded that the victim's name was Jasper Prado, a known mercenary and ex-military man, with no official place of residence. Police officers investigating Prado's case, Bart Fair and Hector Chadwick, refused to comment on the case. Uh, at this stage, it is still unknown if Prado was the only victim found on the scene. There you go. Uh, and is this is this new? Is this different? Maybe this is something we found on the board. Let's see. 
ballistic analysis conclusion, examination of both crime scenes, uh, the Bromsgrove kidnapping and the Jesper Prado case, as well as collecting and analysing the physical evidence related to weapons and ammunition during both criminal investigations, leads to the conclusion that the shooters used weapons produced by advanced defence strategies. All coming back to ADS. I really do think that uh, maybe uh, Grace being kidnapped was some sort of revenge plot against me or the people that hired me. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I had a real personal connection to her because she was known as the girl, right? She's not a family member or anything like that, but yeah, okay. I'm really getting into this. This is actually kind of neat. Okay, uh, hang on. <laughs> okay, let's get back to this just in case. All right. Oh. Well, hang on. Isn't this where we? Uh, isn't this where we saw me? Ah. Oh. Gr Grace again. What? <laughs> this way now? Oh, what have we got here? Another keypad. Ah, oh, I don't know the code. Well, let's see. Just out of interest, if I just if I just have a pop at it, let's say one, two, five, six. Stop wasting your time, Black, and move on. Right. Maybe it's going to be like the other one. Maybe we'll we'll have to come back to this later on. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I haven't found anything with a code on it quite yet. Unless... I don't know, it could be hidden in the case files or something like that. Wow. Look at this. this. Place again. Yes. Your mind is definitely throwing up some kind of link between this Jasper Prado <sighs> and the explosion. I'd say. I'm surprised it's this pronounced, Oh, though, God. As if something is... Bothering you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a few things bothering me, actually. What have we got here? Jasper's past connections? Oh, past and connections there. Yeah, he was in the army from 94 to 96, then started work as a mercenary, drug dealer after being discharged. These days he makes most of his money dealing hash, pot, and ecstasy, but still keeps in touch with old friends. There you go. All right. <laughs> this is reminding me of my own neural network. This is kind of amazing. Too late. Too late, apparently. This is pretty cool. All right, um... We have a, a low-hanging photo over here, but I, I couldn't help but notice another low-hanging document. Who is Jasper? Comes from a working-class family. Father was a truck driver, mother worked in a pub. Bright kid in school, though quickly lost all interest in education and started looking for fun elsewhere. Mostly partying in nightclubs and smoking pot with friends. As you do. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not tall enough to, uh, to have a look at all these. In fact, a lot of these photos, they seem to be blank. And a lot of these sort of files and folders have nothing on them, but um, we're going even deeper, it looks like. Well, unless we can leave. Can we leave? I don't know. Looks like this is the end. This is the exit. Yeah, of course it's locked. Alright. Deeper we go. Alright. Okay, oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Hang on. For God's sake. Hurry! I'm trapped! Jasper? You can stop this! My readings indicate that you've engaged with an earlier point in the memory. What the hell? Though we still don't know why you're here. I was here to stop Jasper getting killed, I'm sure. Careful, Black. You're dealing with raw theory. Pay attention to the facts only. You risk imminent corruption if you continue this course. Fuck you, Red. I know why I'm here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, that took me by surprise. Mannequins are back as well. Uh, okay. Right, let, let's uh, let's read and then I'll rest my voice a little bit, it seems like. An incident report. Right, uh, Officer Bart Fair, Jacob Singer, incident description, possible homicide in the abandoned warehouse. Oh. Uh, let's just go down to the bottom, I think. Our informer, Jared Porter, claims that the weapons he was arrested with were produced by ADS, and he obtained them with the help of an ADS employee called Jay... Jasper Prado? Uh, Porter doesn't know the person's full name. Uh, seems like Porter, a big name in the local arms trafficking business, worked in close cooperation with big and esteemed arms contractor. Okay. And this? Yeah, I definitely heard gunshots. Well, I, I heard loud bangs. I guess they were gunshots, because the guy was shot, right? Anyway, I was out walking Cujo, my dog, at around 5am. <laughs> nice name. My wife's a heavy sleeper, and Cujo's always needing his shit in the morning. So, yeah, sometimes I'll take him out for a walk. So, yeah, I, I was walking down Pump House Lane and into the fields when the shots were fired. Okay. 
Have you got anything to say? What about you? I love that effect. It's really, really cool. Just like shards of people. The further you get away, the, the more whole they look. But yeah, you can be inside them and then, whoa. <laughs> what a trip. Okay. Well, that was, that was strange. And uh, what about... There's Jasper ahead of me as well, right? Looks like Jasper. He's wearing the same sort of green hoodie. <laughs> oh, he's gone now. Oh, I see. Yeah, what about you? Okay. <laughs> and a nice telephone box. Okay, let's take a quick look at this, shall we? Oh, I'll listen to this, rather. What's your problem? I won't tell you where I am. You need to back the fuck away now. <laughs> this is out of your hands, and there's nothing you can do about it. So leave me the fuck alone, and just let this run its course. There you go. Am I a psychopath by Patricia Bateman? Right. You call night sexy girls and big guns. Okay. Looks like I'll be saving my voice a little bit longer. Nothing more to read. And he's just turned into uh, your regular copper. Okay. Yeah, sure. Are there any other Prados around here? And again, he's gone. Right. Yeah, none of this is appearing on the map. The, the phone's sort of letting me down here. No blue dots, nothing like that. Sector 3. <laughs> is that someone bashing to get out, or is that just part of the music? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Ah, here I we go in here. Missing some evidence, Mr. Black. Oh, really? Are you sure you found everything? Not at all. No. No. Let's let's keep exploring. I'll I'll go into what was it sector three, some other time, I guess. A little bit later on. What's going on? Oh, is that him again? It is, isn't it? It is. Right. What? <laughs> this place is a police station now? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> uh, right. And what have you got for me? A couple of documents. Uh, oh, Detective Bart Fair is missing. Let's have a look at this one first. 45-year-old Detective Bart Fair has been reported missing following a four-day period where he failed to report for work, and his wife, Jenny Fair, was unable to contact him. The Chronicle was able to contact Fair's workmate, Hector Chadwick, who was, uh, who was taken unpaid leave, in order to help find his friend. He's a great copper, Bart, but he always got far too involved with his work. A man should never put his career first, especially when he has a family. I'll find him. He'll be fine. Detective Fair was recipient of the Seven Police Bravery Award in 2009, as we already read about, following his famous rugby tackle of a knife-wielding maniac at Birmingham Moor Street Station. Well, we didn't know that. Okay. And something else to the left? Oh, right, I see. Oh, this is the case file, the homicide case file in 2015, yep. Yeah. Case closed. Oh, case... Oh, shit. Really? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Can we go inside at all? No? Apparently not. I'm hearing noises from, like, this direction, I think? Oh, I think it's actually coming from the police station. Um, anyway. Anything... <laughs> anything going on around this building? Maybe. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Hello again. <laughs> Oh, another mannequin, another table, another couple of documents. Are we... No, just for a moment, I thought we were going to go even deeper. we got something down there. And something over here. It's another part of the police station. Let's have a look at what's on this chair first. A lot of reading to do in this game, but yeah, that's, that's kind of my thing. I don't mind that. So let's see. Okay. Uh, due to new evidence linking Jasper Prado's death to the Bromsgrove kidnapping, and Prado's DNA was found at the blast site, I hereby request reopening both cases since they appear to be linked. Who requested that? Oh, it was Bart Fair. And it was dismissed. Corruption, eh? Maybe? He was silenced, possibly. That's what I'm thinking. This is kind of interesting. What have you got to say for yourself? What are you giving me? Okay, what is this? Is it just a car? Oh, Prado's car. Evidence in case. I see. Okay. I don't think we really need screen text for that one. Uh, what about this? Oh, this is Jasper Prado's criminal record, is it? All right. His arrest record. Yeah, lots of drugs, traffic. 
Uh, sensitive information removed from 95 to 97, strangely. Okay. Hmm. Okay, is, is that all you have for me? I guess there's no documents on the other side of the walls, right? <laughs> that would be kind of strange. So you got that one, that one, that one on the chair. Got the sign, nothing on that wall or anything. No, um... Alright, uh, disappear away, I think. There you go. <laughs> Replaced with logs. Oh, you do come back then. Oh, fair enough. Right, let's see. I guess we've done a, a bit of a circuit, really, haven't we? Around this area. So I had a look over there, over there. There was the police station part over there. The phone box. Something all the way over here, possibly? No, no. I, I, I keep looking for more Prados, but I can't find them. Um, let's try and go into Sector 3 again. Oh. <laughs> Forgot that was there for a minute. Yeah, let's try and go into Sector 3 again, or whatever this building is, and let's see if uh, Red says anything. No. But there's something going on with that door. Okay. This way? Let's have a look. I guess, well, we got to go left then, haven't we? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Look, I've been reviewing the data. Though you've been thorough in gathering evidence, your pursuit of supposition has sadly rendered this investigation useless. I'm pulling oh, no, no, What? No, Come on! Not yet. I'm so close. Yeah. Why well, you gotta spoil the fun? All these things just keep disappearing. It's kind of strange, actually. They're disappearing. Oh, hello. Disappearing faster than I can do anything with them. What's going on? See? Did he have a weapon? No. Wait. Oh shit! Oh fuck! No 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 no! Oh fuck! What? I was not ready for that at all. No no! You pulled me out. Like I said, you began making assumptions. The Pandora is neutral, Black, and so must you be. Maybe you really were there to save Jasper. But the moment you assume that to be true, you corrupt the simulation and cast doubt over the memory. If you continue to do so, we will not be able to proceed. Maybe I don't want to proceed. Oh, I think you do, Mr. Black. You wouldn't be here if you didn't want answers. <sighs> the officers recovered shell casings on the scene, matching one weapon, a pistol with a silencer. Oh shit. There you go, that's more like it. Unconfirmed. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. I know why I'm here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> is that someone bashing to get out, or is that just part of the music? I'm pulling oh, no, no, what? Okay. Come on! Not yet. I'm so close. Yeah. Why well, you gotta spoil the fun?